So the clones get weaker, the moms get weaker, and so on and so on, and you keep getting a lot of genetic drift within that mechanism. So what we do is by putting it through tissue culture, it revitalizes that original clone back to its original state, and now we create moms from that. So we're able to keep back to the true form. The, yeah, exactly. The original genome of that plant and so on. So now it's revigorized and it's much healthier. Well, that's what everybody wants, right? They, they want that, that strain that they're shopping for. You know, if you get something that's been cloned down for years, it's, uh, you're, you're going to lose that vigor. And it's, you know, for the industry years past, that was your only option. Exactly. And the other problem kind of leading into that is um, we found that somewhere between 40 and 50 percent of all strains out on the market are not what they say they are. Right. And yeah. so part of what we do here is we look at DNA sequencing of the cannabis plant. Uh, this is a process we've started and we go through vigorous testing anyway. Uh, but we we start we're starting to 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 get that DNA sequences and build the database up so we can actually see is it really blue dream or whatever that whatever that plant says it is because unfortunately a lot of growers rename their strains to, to you know, it looks like this strain is really popular someplace else and hey I'll just rename my strain and people will buy it yeah I think anybody would you know if you're gonna shop around and take the time to find something that you really want to grow you would you would like it to be what you actually 